guys, Katie Heller with Kids Can Read and Write. Today I want to talk to you about how to help your child read three or more syllable words when they're really struggling. So I know I have lots of videos on how to break up big words and make it easier for your child to read them. And that works great for most words. But what I've noticed is that some kids really struggle to keep the parts even when they break them up and sound them out perfectly. So what do you do then? That's what we're going to talk about today. I was working with a student this week and he's doing so great. He just started and he's breaking up the words and he's sounding them out beautifully now instead of just guessing. But like some other kids, he seems to have some auditory processing issues, some trouble with hearing it, with keeping all those parts as memory and processing issues, typical with dyslexia. And so what happens is he's breaking the word, he's finding that vowel, going one pass, breaking it, finding that vowel, going one pass, breaking it, he's finding that sleepy E chart. He's doing all of that correct, okay? So when he sounds it out, he go cut on, calm, Pala ik click eight eight and then he tries to put it together he tries to do the com click eight but what he kept hearing was com plate com plate and if your child's doing that that's usually they're having trouble hearing those parts and keeping them in their memory to put them together and don't be surprised if it's a challenge and if it's frustrating for both you and your child. So I've been doing this a long time and when kids struggle like this, it's a normal struggle that kids have who have some kind of issue going on that, that makes it harder for them to hear. Most kids, they go calm, they go click, they go cake, eight, complicate, and they put it together, no problem, next word. And he does that for a lot of words, but these were three words that came up that just rattled his brain for whatever reason. And what you're probably going to be tempted to do is just end the suffering and just tell them the word. But don't do that, okay? You have to help them learn how to sound out those hard three syllable plus words, right? You have to help their brain grapple with them if you want them to have success with any three, four, or five syllable word. They have to learn to keep those parts together. So just remember, hard does not mean impossible. Today, impossible. Tomorrow, possible, okay? So don't give up. One of the biggest things you have to do is just stay calm and let them play with it and tell them, like I told him the story of, in Taekwondo, we have these stick weapons. And in one of the forms, you have to learn to roll down one stick while you're rolling up the other. So it goes, you know, this way, this way, this way, this way. It's kind of like doing that rub your tummy, pat your head thing, right? Where you're rubbing your tummy and you're patting your head. Well, that was really hard for me to do. And I kept trying to do it. But when my sticks, you know, I'd be coming up, Coming down, when my six we get to the middle, they'd either both go down or they both go up. Drove me crazy. Took me three days to learn how to do it. So I'm always telling kids who are struggling, you know, took me three days to learn how to get them to go opposite ways, to be able to do one thing with my left and another thing with my right. But it was worth it. And I always tell them, I bet it won't take you three days. It might take you 10 minutes, right? And then what you'll find is once they can do it, they can do it. Like it gets so much easier. Now, maybe it takes them a couple times figuring it out, but it gets easier and easier. Just like for me now, it's no problem for me to spin up, spin down. Like my brain gets it. Your child will too if you don't give up and if you help them get through. So how do you help them get through? Let's talk about it. So first, make sure they're sounding out their parts correctly. Cut on. Remember, this is the glue. Glue that on. Cut on. Calm. Then do this part. Pull ick. Click. And then this part. Eight. 
eight, because that E is bossing the A, okay? Calm, click, eight, and help them get through it. Now, most kids will hear it and they'll go, oh, calm, click, eight, calm, click, eight. But if they don't, you can pull out fingers to go, okay, look, what's the first part? Calm. What's your second finger, second part? Click. Okay, so we have calm, we have click. Can you put those together? Calm, click. Okay, great, don't forget that. Calm, click. And now what's the third part? Eight. Okay, so ready? Calm, click, eight. You can use their fingers to help them see. Okay, calm, this one was click, this one was eight. Calm, click, eight. That will help a lot of kids get over the hurdle. But sometimes even that's not enough. They'll go calm, click, eight, calm, click. And you'll be like, oh, we lost it again. But make it fun. You know, don't worry if that's happening. Just know it's a hurdle you have to get through. So here's another thing you can do. Um, if you need to, you could cover the first part. Have them read the last two. Click, eight, click, eight, click, eight. Okay, now put the first part on, complicate, complicate. So sometimes just changing it for the brain helps the brain get through it, complicate. Another thing, if that's not helping, you try that several times, that doesn't help, is move this line one. Well, let's see if they can do it like this. Calm, pli, eight, kate, calm, pli, Kate, complicate. See if that helps. So you have some different tools you can use. Remember, my first tool is find your vowel, go and pass, break it. Find your vowel, go and pass, break it. Find your vowel, go and pass. Don't break it there because only one letter is left. Just keep that together. So if it's not a problem for your child, you'll hear them go k on, con. T in tin con tin ent ent ent. Then they read it con tin ent con tin ent. See if they're not having this auditory issue, they'll get the word. It won't be a problem. And then you can explain to them what a continent is. North America, South America, Africa, Europe, and Asia. Don't forget Australia. Don't forget Antarctica. So you can teach them that song. If they don't know the continents, pull out a map, show them the map, show them the continent, sing the song, point as you sing it so they kind of learn where everything is. Um, continent. But what he heard when he read it, con, Tin and when he blended it, he kept losing part of the middle again, and it would come out content. So when that's happening, remember, first thing you can try fingers, con, tin, put those two together, con tin, put your third part, and con tin and con tin and. If he's still getting content over and over again or whatever your child's getting, well, you can move this line over one and try con t n ent nent con t nent continent. See if that helps him hear it better. <clears throat> or um, you could if say that's still there. You could put tin ent together, tin ent, con, tin ent, and you can see if you can hear it that way. So try your different things and see what helps. But don't give up and don't try too many weird things at once. Like stick with one. First try fingers several times. If that's just not working, try moving the line over one. See if that helps. Try putting the first two parts together or the last two parts, and then adding whichever one is left. You know, try different things. You're just showing your child how this works. And remember, inspire them along the way. Don't let them get anxious. Don't you get anxious. 
watch that rising voice because if you start getting a higher voice, they're going to feel anxious. So watch your voice, take a deep breath, just know sometimes this takes time. You have to get your older child through this part. And I promise you it's worth the aggravation in time. It may take you 10 minutes per certain words as they learn how to do it. And that's normal and it's good because every 10 minutes you take is getting them closer to the finish line. It's getting them closer to understanding how to do it. And it's helping their brain get it forever right? So if you skip it and you just give in to that urge to just tell them, oh, complicate or, oh, continent. If you just tell them the answer, you taught them nothing. They might know it, you know, while you're on that page, but later they're not going to be able to figure it out on their own. So don't give them the answers. Let them grapple with it. Help them, you know, and if you just can't get through it, skip to another word, come back to it when their brain's a little more relaxed, try again. But I'm telling you, sometimes it takes 10 minutes. That's okay. Take the time. Okay. You want to help them learn to do this. So here's a longer word. Break it. Find your vowel. Go one past. Break it. Find your vowel. Go one past. Break it. All right. Watch for those sleepies and other tricks as you go. If your child doesn't know the tricks that are hiding in words, they're not going to be able to sound them out. So remember, if you're doing the black belt reading program, the tricks go in order. So make sure you follow it from the beginning to the end. Don't skip around um, because there will be tricks in words that maybe they haven't done yet then. So go in order. But let's say they're on sleepy, which is what this child's on. And so he has some big words in there. And let's see how he would do it. So this would be in the S, this, in this, to ig, tig, eight. Okay, so if you don't have an auditory issue going on, you can go back through, you come back to the beginning and you go in this tig eight. But if you have auditory issues or memory issues or phonemic awareness issues or just issue issues, whatever issue, it might come out in this state, which is what he was saying. So he's getting super close in this eight, but he's leaving out this part. So again, you can get your fingers ready, one finger per part. So this one has four in this. And I like putting these two parts together in this and then telling them put these two parts together <coughs> to gate and then stick the whole thing together. In this to gate, in this to gate, right? But not everyone can hear that or do that in the beginning. And that's okay. It doesn't mean that phonics doesn't work. It doesn't mean that they can never do it. It doesn't mean that, you know, all those negative things. It just means they haven't learned to yet. Just like me when I was trying to get this and I would go down or up over and over again. It was so frustrating because I could spin down, I could spin up, but ah, couldn't get them to do the pass through the center part. So that's what your child's dealing with. If they're reading this in this, tig eight, in this, tig eight, and then they say invest eight. Well, you know, there's a little bit of an issue going on and they still have to get past that. So keep working on it. Do your fingers. You can try putting three parts together, then adding the last one. You can try putting those parts together, then adding on the first one. You know, mix it up a little bit, but just keep showing them this is telling you what to say. You have to say it all. Another thing that I'll do is I'll say, oh, good try, good try. You got in this to eight. See this part? You got in this eight, but it has to have the Ig in there. Invest tig eight. Like I'll show them that 
so they can see what's going on. So make sure when you're working with your child, help them see what they're saying because they'll swear they're saying it all, right? They're not going to know. They're, they're not going to know they're saying plate there instead of plicate. Um, they don't know the word. They don't know what they're supposed to say. So to them, it seems right. So help show them. Remember, fingers can help. Putting two parts together, other two parts, and then the whole thing together can help. You can put your first two, then add the third one. You can put the second two, <coughs> excuse me, and then add the first one. Um, but try some different things. But that's what I found to be successful when kids are having trouble with those three plus syllable words. I hope this helps you get them past that stage. Just remember, hard does not mean impossible. Today, impossible. Tomorrow, possible. Don't give up. Don't give up on your child. Don't let your child give up on him or herself. Okay? Keep working at it till you get it. If you have more questions, drop them in the comments below. If you need help with a program to teach your child step-by-step -step how to read and write, look up our Black Belt reading program on kidscanreadandwrite.com or on Kids can online academy.com. I'll have the links in the description. Um, if you need words like these, you need the higher program. So get in touch with me and I'll help get you set up for that if it's not already listed as one of our products because we're still kind of working on it, but I can get it together for you and I can sell that to you if you need the bigger words. Um, so let me know if you need that. Right now, the one for sale is the beginner edition. So if your child's just beginning to read, you would want that one. If you need words that are like second, third, fourth, fifth grade words, get in touch with me. I've got those. They're just not quite on the market yet. So hope this helps, guys. This is one of the biggest problems people face in the beginning. And I'm telling you, once you get through it, it's going to be smooth sailing. They'll be able to do it from then on. So don't give up. Hope this helps. Thanks so much. Like, share, and uh, comment if you have a question or just want to tell me hello. Thanks again. Bye-bye.